On one of um, uh, the joints I was listening to today, <clears throat> let me get my notes. Um, you said everyone's a hoodlum until they get locked up and turn blood or Muslim. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah. Well, big banks take little bank. Mm -hmm. And in New York penitentiary, mm -hmm. the two biggest monsters is the homies and mm -hmm. the um, Muslim community. Mm -hmm. And that's just what it is. You see dudes that was everything in the world. Right. And you know, and not saying that they might not find God and want to change right. their life in those particular because we do. But sometimes when it's false, you see them when they home, they not on their dean, they right. not still, they right. throw their crown. As soon as they get off the bus, yeah. there's mad Bibles and Qurans and, and crowns and kufis in, right. in the bucket. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's when they're repeated, because you're not serious with your with your, your growth. You ever thought New York City would be like that? Like you know, um, you, you being so young in the game, and I'm sure you had to travel to California and see the differences. Like, we had the guard bodies. We yeah. had the... Um, we had posses. Yeah, we had posses. We had Projects. black spades, and yeah. we had all of this. But it wasn't really, per se, gangs. Yeah. Like, even Zulu Nation. Like, Zulu yeah. Nation was actually looked at as something that was positive. And then... It, it, it gets to the West Coast and the Bloods and the Crips thing. Mm -hmm. And I remember us actually laughing. Not not laughing, but like look, looking at, like, what are they doing? They got jerry curls and And like, why are they, they, they doing this? And then now, New York is doing that. Well, um, I think... I'm real just, about it. I, I think, think it's, it's just the state of the mind of the people because some people are followers and some people are leaders. Mm -hmm. It's a bunch of followers that follow the trend. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And they don't know no better. They don't right. know. They're just going off what they appear, what they see, what they what they see to be real. And right. sometimes it takes some people their life. Right. And then sometimes it takes people in prison forever. Right. And then some people get it in between and change right. their life around. I think New York is following on a whole lot of levels, on right. music, yeah, on music, everything. I, I think with, with us, what we did was, because it was everything, we set the trends all right. the time. And what we stopped doing was sticking together. It was a time I remember as a kid, right. as a kid, the whole industry was mines. Right. Everybody was right. my big brother. Right. Chuck D, right. Big Daddy Kane, LL. Right. These dudes, when they seen you, they grabbed you, they hugged you, they told you, and they now you see a dude, it's a standoff. You will see who's the fly. It's like I'm yeah. flying to you, like I can't say nothing to Shaheen because I'm me. It's like, nah, dude, right. like, what's up? It's me. Nah, you're right. Like, it's, you're right. It got really, uh, I like to say, software. I don't want to say it was always like that, but it was a great time where everyone embraced everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Like when you had it, like when I had an album release party, everyone okay. would be there. Like I couldn't even, I didn't even have to call people. I, I do remember that time. You ever thought hip hop would, would, would be in this level? Like as big as it is, like the verses and all this shit is. I mean, I'm happy. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? I'm happy to be a part of it. You know what uh -huh. I mean? And see the evolutionary growth. Of course, mm -hmm. it has to change. These kids want to do what they want to do, and there's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but this growth, it's, it's a lot yeah. to be done because it's all the other things that can come from hip-hop that we're able to do. Mm -hmm. Use right. our popularity, use our voices to clean up right. the community, to start businesses, and right. use our voices to just tell people how to go about it because right. one thing we lack in our community is the information. Right. If I would have knew half the things that I've learned along my journey, I wouldn't have you know, stumbled as much. Not to say mm. I wouldn't have made no mistakes, I wouldn't have stumbled as much. Mm -hmm. And that's what the other people do in the, their communities. Right. They give them the information. When they're right. in high school, they're preparing for, they're giving them the Jews, they're giving right. them that, and they're helping them walk through it. Right. I think every in, in our community, everybody just goes for self when they make it. Right. You know I think I mean? that's what Pharrell said on our show. He said, when he said the information, we can't hide the information. We have to right. share, share the information. Yeah. And I think... Uh, that's something that, that we've been trying to do on Drink Champs. It's the crabs in a bucket mentality. Yeah, the crabs in a bucket yeah. mentality. You got, you got those ready, Ross? You know what I'm saying? Because this is what we do for our legends. You know what I'm saying? We want you to know you were way invited way before this dumb shit, and you're always yep. going to be invited. So we wanted to make sure you got your flowers, you know what I'm saying, oh, man, to your motherfucking yeah, face. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Oh, man, your dudes is Come on. Oh, Come on. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Flowers, yeah, flowers. yeah, to your motherfucking face. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, that, that's this, this is just for the crib. Oh, you know what I'm saying? They last. They Those last. are real roses. Those, Those are real roses. roses. Yeah, Golden they, roses. Yeah, yeah. And they last for a couple years, yeah. a few right. years. 
This yeah. is a real gift. Because that's what our show is about. Yeah, our show man. is about giving flowers. That's dope. Um, it's always been about giving flowers. Are we going to make some mistakes along the way? Of course we will. Are we going to make some mistakes after? Of course we will. But our heart and our goal is in the right mind and the right frame. It's in the great intentions. And we wanted you to know that face to face, man to man, eye Thank to you. eye, my nigga. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Thank Salute, goddamn. So now. I need you to go. This goes on and on, one, one, shot. One real quick, right? I just counted as 12 of these, right? One plus two is three. That's understanding. That's understanding. So we had to go. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 12 Jews. 12 Jews, God. Come on, we here, God. Come on, we here, God. Come on, we here, God. You know what I'm saying? We here, God. Yeah. All right, so you got to take me through. This goes on and on, shot. Yeah. Classic. You made that record? How does, how does, how, what the fuck is what's going on? You 11? No, it was it was the no, I was like thirteen. Okay. And it was no, actually fourteen. And it was uh -huh. the fourteen, yeah, fourteen, fifteen, somewhere mm -hmm. around there. You know how you start getting old, you, you, you mm -hmm. years switch up. Yeah. But um it was the last song for the album. Uh -huh. And my manager Wiggs, he Wiggs was always the guy instilling like black history for me. Mm -hmm. Like different from with when I was with the guards, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? He was on like uh Martin Luther King, he was more peaceful. Ooh, ooh. You know what I'm saying? When I was with the guards, it was more revolutionary. Right. So, but he will always He ate have, pork? Yeah, he, he, he ate pork. pork. I yeah. felt like he ate pork. Yeah, yeah, he ate pork. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. So <laughs> it, it was just the Jews, and he mm. was like, yo, you have to be the reporter. This is who you are. You have mm -hmm. to show through your eyes. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I said, all right, well, I'm gonna write through my eyes. And that's what came out of it. And the Because you wrote that as a 13-year-old? Yeah. Really? And the line where I said, old man got shot in a parking lot in front of my building, I hang with his grandchildren. Yeah, it, it wasn't actually an old man and his grandchild. It was actually a dude by the name of Tom Reagan that I, I, I looked up to in my neighborhood. He was fly. Mm -hmm. And it's like, a, a dude just shot him under the building. It's just like, like killed him. That was one of my early deaths. You know how when you're young, you start wow. to see, yeah. and it always affect me because he was one of the dudes that had one of those smiles. You know, it seemed mm. like everybody that goes has that smile, and then mm. it's like he had that smile, and it was just like I never forgot him. And right. when I was writing that, and I said, "All right, this is what happens in my neighborhood." All right. So was was like because I, right, you know, um, we interviewed Jermaine Dupri, right? And it's something that I asked him, like you know, him working with child stars, is he could always get this money from Nickelodeon or Disney. Was that ever uh, like, was people ever say, Yo, calm it down? Because you're 13. By the time you're 18, you might could be in a fucking Walt Disney. Oh man, it was many. It was many. I telling you to relax, me. telling calm down. No, just to telling me to to, to, to change my uh, narrative mm. to to you know be a little more clean, you know mm. what I'm saying? Um, to join Immature, because I did a record with Immature um, called uh. The Lover's Groove, and they wanted me to join the group. And I was like, They wanted you to be... join Immature? Yeah, like to be the rapper. I didn't catch that. <laughs> to, like, be, nah, like, like, to, be, to be like the rapper, like, because we did the song, and he like, always oh, dope. Like, he adds I, don't, I can't picture that. I can't picture yeah, that. Like, I couldn't either. Yeah, I can't and I'm like, that. I'm not doing that. And it was a lot of money. But, yeah, yeah. but you know, coming from the projects, this is what I love about coming from where I come from. It gives you this thing called fuck it. And it's like, yo, for my principles and my pride, fuck it. It's like, this is who I am. I turned down movies because uh, I wasn't going to kick over a garbage can. Because I know if I came back to the project, they're going to kill me. Right. Oh, this nigga was kicking over the garbage cans in the project. I couldn't have lived, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I based everything off of what I thought that the people from my neighborhood would think of me. That was a plus or a minus. Yeah, about it's, a, it's a both. It's a minus too because that's not real life. You should, you should live your real right, life and right. not what people think. But as a kid, you're only influenced by what you see that's and your what world. you hear. That's so right. in my book bag for a long time, I carried everybody else's shit, everybody right. else's thoughts, everybody right. the shit that I accumulated. And, right, that's deep. and then it was too, when it, when it burst and it was over and everybody went, to their real lives, yeah. I was still stuck in a maze. Like, oh shit, it ain't no real industry. It ain't mm. no these niggas really don't love me. Right. Oh shit, this was business. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry kid, this this was business. I'm not like really your lawyer. I ain't coming to court to help you <laughs> with, with, with this. You're Damn, facing thirty real. years. I'm not gonna help you, kid. Right. You got the budget. Call, call, call yeah. somebody. They not what. All right. And then reality hits you like, oh shit. And that's 18, you saying? You uh, start, started hitting you with that? No, no, but, no. But let's, let's this, stick, let's stick with 13. Time. It shouldn't be a long time. One shot because this is like your first hit record, yeah. right? How many people you finger popped at that time? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm, oh, come you on. I was, I was a legend. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nah, yeah. At least not good at that. For 13 years old, he's doing it. I don't know 
why we clapping for that. Well, no, no, no. But, but here's the thing. A lot of the women probably be in jail right now because I wasn't dealing with 13 year olds. Right, you was the opposite of R. Yeah, Kelly. Yeah, you yeah. Was yeah. The opposite. <laughs> I was getting they wrong with you. You know that? Why are you going to say that? Yeah, I'm telling you. I remember how I got my bed. I tell you I got it. You was eating pussy. When I was young, the older guys would tell me, you want to, you got to get a bed. You ain't doing that. Right? Because I'll be talking to a girl. I come through the project. Was he a Puerto Rican? Yeah. Was the guy who told you that a Puerto Rican? Majority. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm half Cuban, so. Oh, oh, I, don't oh, man. I don't. I don't speak nothing. Yeah, but. Yeah, 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 you're supposed to be eating pussy early. Yeah, get to use to Yeah, so it was a no. thing like you know. Uh, you, you know, you got a little girlfriend and you couldn't come through the balcony of the building on the bench, everybody out there hustling. Uh -huh. So they like, yeah, you don't know what to do with that. You ain't uh -huh. doing the right thing. And I'm like, yes, I am. I'm chilling. You know what I'm saying? They say, you ain't eating. I'm like, ew, that's nasty. Uh -huh. And he's like, yeah, you got to put your whole face, everything, uh -huh. the chin, the side. And my stupid ass was like, yeah, all right, you did all this shit. Now, woof. I can't even cut it. I cut it today. It's like, woof, tomorrow. It's crazy. But that's how you get, it. That's how you get this bed. Yeah. I thought that was just Puerto Rican shit. It's like, I didn't even know Cubans. The two Cubans have beer. <laughs> you know, <laughs> I did not beat that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not beat that. And Puerto Rican, I'm okay. I'm half black too. Jamaicans don't want that. <laughs> Jamaicans no, is Jamaican. different. Oh, I know a few that do though. Yeah, you know, they, that yeah, they, be, they, they, they be low riding. Yeah. Oh yeah. 